Hey, get those earplugs in, because in this episode, we're going to blast you with the <laughs> business on burping. Your body creates some entertaining things, and burps are about the loudest. Everybody burps. Babies must be burped while feeding, or things get messy. Dads burp after too many fizzy drinks. So what causes these gassy outbursts? Gulping food or drink too quickly causes gas in the tummy called aerophagia. Mmm. The inflated stomach then expels air up through the esophagus and out through the mouth in the form of a noisy belch. The record for the loudest burp is held by a London man whose startling bark registered 118.1 decibels as loud as an aircraft taking off. Yikes! Just think, if you couldn't burp, you'd most likely take to the air too, like a big balloon. So avoid those tonsil rattlers by chewing your food properly, or you could lose more than your dignity. Feeling a little flaky? Itchy too? Well, kids, here's the deal on dandruff. If there's snow on your head and shoulders, even though it's summer, put the toboggan away. It's probably dandruff. Don't be embarrassed. Dandruff is common and natural. As you grow, cells in your skin move toward the outer surface, where they're shed every 28 days and become house dust. Likewise, you shed the skin on your head. But with dandruff, your scalp sheds in hyperdrive. Another cause of dandruff is a common fungus called malassezia. It grows on the scalp and feeds on the skin's natural oils. Heaps of people carry this fungus without a worry. But for some, it annoys their skin, making it itch and flake. Hey, presto, that's dandruff. Special shampoo is all you need to treat dandruff dilemmas. But don't delay. Some people won't wait for winter. Got your ears on, gang? Because in this episode, we give you all the gooey facts on wax. And that's not the candle kind. We're talking ear wax. Ever wondered where it comes from, what it's for? Firstly, it's not wax at all. It won't provide extra grip on surfboards or bring the shine back to Granddad's car. Ear wax is actually sticky stuff called cerumen, which is produced from thousands of tiny glands in your ear canal. And why is this cause for celebration? For a start, there are plenty of homeless bugs looking for a warm ear hole to call home. This one's just shown how a foreign body can lodge inside an unsuspecting ear hole. But don't despair. Observe how the wax attacks. Ear wax is acidic to fight fungus and bacteria, and it's all gooey to trap enemy agents. Lastly, old and dry ear wax is ejected from the ear to make way for new wax, taking all unauthorized personnel with it. There you have it. The facts on wax or how wax works. As for taste, we'll let you decide. Hey, kids, open a window, because we're about to lift the lid on a fuming pot of facts about farts. Passing wind is nothing to be embarrassed about. Everybody does it. Your parents do it. The headmaster does it. Even dogs, turtles, and fish do it. Where do these bottom blasts come from? They come from gas produced in our blood and tummy and from bacteria living in our intestines. Farts are mainly oxygen, nitrogen, methane, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. Just one cow makes over 48 kilograms of methane each year. So don't stand too close. Why are farts so smelly? Well, the odor comes from small amounts of hydrogen sulfide gas. The more sulfur in your diet, the stinkier your farts will be. Cauliflower, eggs, and meat make the stinkiest farts, while beans make the loudest. Even though passing wind is natural, you should be careful where you do it. In some company, it's better to leave the room. Itching for some foul facts? Well, sit tight, because we're about to scratch the surface of nails. Nails are bizarre parts of the human body. They're made from the same stuff as bird feathers, horse hooves, bull horns, and even bear claws. So what is the stuff in nails? Our nails are made up of keratin, a protein produced by our bodies from the food we eat. It's also the stuff your hair's made of. Groovy, huh? Your nails grow just over three centimeters a year. Fingernails grow faster than toenails, and boys' nails grow faster than girls. Your nails can even keep growing after you die. How long can they grow? Well, in India, a man has the record for the longest fingernails in the world. The nails on his left hand were over 20 feet long. Imagine trying to pick your nose with that. Ever had a bad scrape? Well, sit tight as we lift the lid on scabs! 
If you own a skateboard, you'll know what scabs are. There's one, that thing on your knee. It may look like a horrid, crusty blotch, but scabs are your friends. Think of your skin as a spacesuit that protects you from nasty stuff wanting to get inside and make you ill. When you have a hole in your spacesuit, your blood and plasma move to the area, then harden, forming a scab that patches the hole. Don't pick it off. That patch stops things getting in and stops you leaking out. Scabs work better when they're bandaged. They heal twice as fast that way. So wrap up your scabs and you'll be back on the skateboard in no time, doing 360 rail grabs and making more scabs. Hi, kids. In this episode, we flick you the finger licking facts on bogeys. We get up your nose to find out what's what about snot. <laughs> Hold that thought. You know, bogeys are much more than just a salty treat before lunch. Long, long ago, sometime around breakfast, that bogey was just plain old mucus with one specific function, to protect your lungs. Drop that bogey, drop it. Snot protects the lungs in partnership with Celia. No, she's not Snot's girlfriend. Celia are the tiny hairs in your nose. Let's take a closer look. When something gets up your nose beside homework, the Celia go to work trapping intruders. Things like germs, pollen, dirt, dust, and little brothers. Then it's Snot's time to shine. The invader is trapped and the lungs are saved and another bogey is born. And with your nose producing a cup full of snot every day, why stop at one? It's a regular bogey buffet. Fascinating, isn't it? And it's all happening right under your nose. Uh, or seat. Get those bibs on, because we're about to salute the savory specialties of spit. If you have a dog, you'll know what spit is. Yep, it's that dribbly wet stuff that fills your mouth and sometimes squirts out. Spit, or saliva, has many uses. Firstly, if food is placed on a dry tongue, it has no taste. You need to mix it with spoonfuls of scrumptious spit to savor the flavor. Next, those handy enzymes in your spit start to digest food before it gets to your stomach. Spit cleans. During sleep, you have less spit, so bacteria grows in your mouth to give you that stinky morning breath. Ugh. Spit cools you down. Dogs have no sweat glands, and that's why they need to pant and drool. Life would be miserable without spit. You couldn't taste, swallow, or digest properly. Your breath would always stink, and your dog would overheat. So let's celebrate saliva with a single spit salute. But don't waste it. Spit's so good, why share it with anyone else? Better open some windows, kids, because in this episode, we're going to sniff the fumy facts on feet that reek. Foot stink can turn heads and stomachs. There aren't many things with a stench strong enough to lose you friends faster than you can say, whoa, my eyes are watering. And don't think you can hide that pong. Foot odor is trademarked. Everyone's is different, and yours is like a smelly fingerprint. Feet that reek can lose you more than friends. The sweat can eat the lining of your shoes. Stinky feet begin as sweaty feet. There's 125,000 little sweat glands on each of your feet. Adult feet can make seven pints of stinky sweat in one week. Phew, we damn. And it won't stop there. When it's really nasty, foot sweat makes a contagious fungus grow. This fungus thrives in dark, humid environments and slowly dissolves the skin on your tootsies. Ah! But don't worry, you can keep your feet stink-free wearing fresh cotton socks every day. Just make sure your friends do the same. Seeing spots before your eyes? Well, listen in as we tell you what's up with warts. For hundreds of years, toads have copped a bad rap for spreading warts. But it's not their fault. Like a cold or flu, you catch warts from a virus that loves warm, wet places like small cuts on knees and hands. After a while, the virus becomes a wart, which is just a bumpy piece of skin. Almost everybody gets warts. They come in different colors, shapes, and sizes, and appear anywhere on your skin. With enough time, you could collect the whole set. If you get bored with warts, there are plenty of ways to banish those bumps. Doctors can burn them off with acid, electrocution, or lasers. Or freeze them off with ice guns. So now that you know where warts come from, you can take a load off the toad and treat him like the funky frog he really is.